a build with AR and SMG with high DPS and high armor. The difficult thing on that is the last bit. High DPS and yeah. high armor. High armor, right? You can have 2 million armor in this and be dead within 3 seconds. You can have the most he armor likes. you can get in the game and you still get smashed. I remember Tal, he likes getting up in, in faces. So what I would do Scotland. with Tal is I give him Intimidate and then that, uh, that one that you run on your Matador. So let's let's have Matador, a look. You run on your Chungus build. Uh, yes. So let's have yeah. a look. If I've set this up correctly, For there you go. A national emergency. So if anybody wants the link to this site as well, I will uh, pop it in chat now because this is it. It's not super detailed on the out the damage numbers output and stuff on the the right hand side here, but it is quite good for being able to see what this does. Um, so I'll boop that in chat for anybody that wants it. Ooh, look at your red shoes. Look at my red shoes. HTTPS colon slash slash MX swap dot GitHub dot IO slash MX dash division dash build slash hash slash. Oh, what's that? Back, back, down. Right, so we have all the things that we can pick on the side here. L -U -L. And if anybody's got any ideas in chat, any experienced players, feel free to, to pop it in, because I know Hudson's got a fucking god tier fucking sniper build, which we'll probably get onto at some point as well. Um, so, if Turtle... Where do we start? Weapons? Smoking? Chest, chest and backpack. Chest and backpack, then. So we'll do the Synergize. backpack. Synergize. So... So we're going to avoid... Load of armor. We're going to avoid the um, red ones, because the red yeah. ones are situational if you haven't got them i don't i don't admit that the build is going to be does not work it so we'll base it on either named items which are a bit easy to get or where we can the gray ones at the just bottom normal. we tell the normal ones because these ones are a lot easier to get overall so i would i'll go three just a basic basic build is three uh prov um with because he's using AR, SMG, so you want to either have your chest piece or one of the pieces, uh, Sokolov oh. or Fenris. Yes. And then Seska and Brupo. So we'll start... The other two pieces. We'll start with the, with the, with the backpacks. The backpack's probably uh, a little bit easier. Yes, yeah, so, so you it... want a backpack with adrenaline. Yeah. Yes, Phil, G. So if you pick the Fenris backpack, the core attribute you want, I'm trying to think how to work this because these drop with uh, with the wed. So you're having the Fenris one. Yeah, so it's weapon damage. So you're having the Fenris one. Main. Yeah, you're having the Fenris one because it gives you assault rifle damage of 10%. Right? So that's why, you, that's why we're picking that one. The so weapon damage, 15%. Minor attribute, Crit hit chance, crit hit damage smoking? Yep. Crit hit chance and crit hit damage. Now these numbers here, this 15, 6 and 12, these are the max you can get. Um, so as long as you've got something that's fairly high, don't worry about where these are because you can optimize them and, and hit some bobs. Um, so the talent, which is the important one, is right at the top. Yeah, nice. So adrenaline rush. So whenever you are within 10 meters of an enemy, you gain 20% bonus armor for five seconds. Stacks up to three times, cooldown is five seconds. There is a perfect version of this, uh, which is not on the Fenris um, though, which gives you 23% uh, over five seconds. So if you get within three enemies, you get 69% extra armor, Kappa. 69% is the magic number. Um, so we've got an adrenaline rush. So the mods, we'll come back to the I would, mods. I would like to throw in as well. Adrenaline rush works really well. Uh, group play. Uh, solo. In more ways uh, than Bloodsucker one. is also Wouldn't another good choice. For giving you armor on a build. Well, I think... Yeah, that... but you, Hudson, you haven't seen Turtle play. That's all I'll say. So, which one would you be using primarily? Submachine gun. Sucker more viable. Would Would you be using a submachine gun primarily or an assault rifle? Because I think Hudson makes a good point. Because if you're, if you're using the assault rifle, generally you are further away. You can be closer as well. You can use the assault rifle closer. Uh, 
And the reason I'm saying this is because Adrenaline Rush obviously only procs when you're close to them. So if you're further back, you won't get that bonus armor. Because I think I know where we're going with the chest piece. Yeah. But MR Thing Turtle's is, speed is the of Mr. Jenkins. I yeah, like armor yeah, for yeah. damage. If you go with that two talents, you can then, on a on the backpack and chest, then you've got so many more builds that you can then add to that by just throwing in four pieces of Hunter's Fury and whatnot. Just keeping that backpack and chest talent. Okay. Um, that that was my my reasoning. So one we'll, one two pieces that will give you about five builds. So we'll do the we'll, we'll do the one as if but you're up then close. Ain't great in a group. People pinching exactly. Tools, et cetera. Exactly. Same with the memento backpack. The memento backpack is really really good. The worst thing I see when I play summit is like three people winning memento backpack and it's just like right I'm going to take this off because it just isn't going to work. Um, so we'll run, yeah. we'll build this one as, as like an up close and personal. We'll build the, the core concept around it, and then we can change the um, the talents. Talents. Um, if you want to play further away, so we'll go with yeah. the Fenris uh, chest piece. Uh, sorry, backpack, and then chest piece, Mickey. Uh, so we'll prov. Provident. Probably, uh, yeah. So ultimately, we're going to go with three piece providence because it gives you headshot damage yeah. critical hit chance and critical hit damage yeah it's the easiest kind of dps build is the the crit hit chance crit damage non-named your babies i was saying to hudson it's like baby's first dps build it is it's a starting the point. price yeah so the, in the same way as the skill build is the the build that gets you all builds. This is the your first DPS build, which teaches you how DPS work. So talent wise for the chess piece. Now it would be very very easy just to go with I glass cannon. I have two builds for this, so I can see what folks are running and play whatever is lacking for the group. Yeah, that's why I've got sixteen different builds because I've got different bits but for different things. For newish players. Obliterator or Spotter. So, so if you use Spotter, then either we're going to be bound you to... You have Tactician loot, uh, yeah. Yeah, if we use Spotter, we're going to be bound to the specialisation because one of the specialisations gives you a laser pointer which automatically spots the target as soon as you hit them. So Spotter gives you extra damage, you aim with them, hit proc Spotter, Spotter gives you the damage back, or you use the pulse in some way, which kind of ties up one of your um, skills. Um, obliterate is an option as well, but bear in mind, it's very good. Bear in mind, this is the up close, so you're going to be up close. You're going to aim to be within ten yeah, meters of them. Intimidate. So teach, teach synergy. The spots. It does. It does. You're right. So with the adrenaline rush, because we've got that talent on it, which is whenever you are within 10 meters, you get the enemy, uh, you get the extra armor. What we're going to go, what I think we should go with on the chest piece is intimidate. So while you have bonus armor, amplifies total weapon damage by 35% to enemies within 10 meters. So you get within 10 meters, you get all your extra armor. And because you're in tech within 10 meters and you've got extra armor, you then get the extra 35% weapon damage. Ah, oh, cool. Bear in mind, this is the up close and personal. We get in your face and, and, and try and blast through them. And then we can change these over because you can change these talents if you're going to play more AR, which is further away, which is, brings in some of the stuff like uh, Hudson says, like Spotter. You've got, you got, you got a few different variations of what you can run on it. Go and on. if you like a foul assault rifle, the tactician laser can go on the, the foul. So that spots enemies for you, so it kind of means you don't have to keep pulsing them. So whatever you point at is pulsed already. So, and the good thing with the good current situation as well, there's loads of different ways you can get to the same end result. There is a lot of the meta meta builds um, of how you can get up there, but there's a host of ones just underneath it which will get you more or less to the same kind of end result. I do need yeah, passive smoking. Uh, so, um, either 
uh, Providence Foxes. again, you know. No, no, no named, no named uh, Hudson. Yeah, Foxy's uh, Foxy's prayer knee pads. Um, have a special talent oh. on them, which are the if you if you get a pair, keep them because they are the lot for a DPS build. They are best in slot uh, by far. Um, even if you're not using a rifle, the extra stuff you get on it, especially going to say something different now. <laughs> Unless you're running high crit hit damage, then Grupo can be better three piece this three piece um, buckle of, I think, or uh, two piece buckle of. Yeah, I mean, ultimately, Harry, you want one at level forty, and but if you if you get a pair drop um then yeah just rock them and try it and you can go to the shooting range so you can try and not, you can, if you've got a normal pair of um say providence or whatever red rolled knee pads with created chance created damage on shoot some of the targets see what you get swap the knee pads over and shoot them again and then find out if that actually works with your build because you'll see the, the damage numbers change so you can see if it if it's giving you more damage or not just purely by that 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 stat so we'll go with Providence Defense um, for the knee pads. So we've got two pieces of that now. So that's headshot damage and crit hit chance. Don't ever run six pieces of the same stuff because you're just wasting three talents. One of the key things on this, uh, on putting a build together, is how you mix and match all these different things. And you can have a three and a three. You can have a three, a two and a one. You can have a three and three ones. You can have three twos. You don't have to have all, all of them together. So we. All right, so I've gone created chance, created damage with that, and we can tweak some of these if we need to. And while we're not putting the mods in, because there's a 60% cap on crit hit chance, so depending what you get up to, you might need mods, you might not need mods, and depending what your shade yeah. level is as well, because you get a shitload of crit hit chance um, from the that. Way, the way this builds, you shouldn't. Shouldn't. And it's, it's like going by someone that's got a very low watch level. And we'll, so hence, we'll set the, if we do the holster next and put in a grupo, the ten percent group. So the the watch level is currently set to zero as well. So it's like you've just got uh -huh. to level four, you've just unlocked the watch, and that's it. You've got no more bonuses. Um, if we set it to max, you can see you get all this extra bonus from it as well. But we're not going to do that. Um, so holster group, how did you say, Smokey? Uh, is it ten percent crit chance? Um, oh, I always get them. Uh, Seska. Seska. So we're going to Seska because it gives you the 10% the critical hit chance. Yes. And these are going to be red as well, Smokey? Do you agree? Yeah, we'll, we'll make the uh, hit chance crit damage. So we've currently got 44% crit hit chance um, and 48% crit hit damage. Now this doesn't this doesn't take into account the weapon sometimes as well. So we'll just have to manually add that on. Um, That's okay. Bearing in mind this isn't my site. This is the one I found. But props to the guys that do because it's fucking super easy to use. Mask, Smokey. Providence. Now we've got. Um, yeah, we've only got two pieces. Of providence, over there. That's the three piece. So we've got headshot damage, crit hit chance, and crit hit damage. Mm -hmm. so we've got a mod for that as well, but we're not going to put that in yet. And the final piece of your lovely outfit. Oops. Grupo. And we're going with Grupo Y, Smokey? Crit damage. Crit damage. 15%. So 15% crit hit damage. So you can see with everything and on the here. the way Division calculates damage, because you've got server lag, everything all like that, it's, 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 you fire your gun, you hit, and it gives you a number. It's a lie. Don't believe it. It's a calculation. And then it bases that how much you've hit it over a course of time. And then whatever DPS it's, 
calculated for you, it then goes, right, I need to remove that much uh, of the health pool from the enemy. Which is why you're, when you're shooting it, the health bar seems to lag. Hey. He's doing the calculation. Because it's doing the calculation. Are you confused? Are you confused, look? Yeah. It, it, it's freaking but, bizarre. If anybody's got any questions, just feel free to pop them in chat and we can, we can discuss it. Solid, solid them. PDF did a, a video ages on it. And Marco did a, a video ages on it. A go on it. On how DPS is no, calculated in the I division and uh, the how, it, does it, that how way. it applies it. For the features. Features flick. <laughs> Sustained damage. Right, so we have um, we have all this set up. Um, so our features. I'm trying to work out. Right, so currently it says crit hit damage is at fifty six percent, but this is with these all maxed out. So I think if I change that to one, that crit hit chance, yeah, drops right down yeah, to fifty one. Magic flute high. <laughs> Many magic flutes. Boo. So as long as you've got weapon damage, crit hit chance, crit hit damage on these particular bits. Now you can have, uh, where we've got a Grupo Sombra gloves, you can have Providence gloves and a Grupo Sombra mask. too funny. It was. It was very funny last night. Many hopes were had. Uh, so the good thing about having this this way... Sorry, so I'll carry on. No, no, no go on. I'll, I'll wait. No, no, you can no, I'll wait. I'll wait. No. No. Okay, right. Well, the, this you morning can change... LUL the mask or coyotes and not mess the build up you can uh, swap the holster out um, and have grupo in the holster slot uh, if you don't need the extra 10% crit chance when you hit cap at watch so it allows you to put in your named items so you could put prov in there and boxes in the knees. Okay. So, you know, there's there's ways of swapping it about so that that's how the, your first iteration of this will be and then how you can make it better. Exactly. Or interchangeable parts. It, interchangeable bits that will help your team. So if you're running with a team, right, I'll, I'll throw on my... Um, Coyote's mask, and I know that I'll not lose my crit chance because um, I'll be close. Um, and yeah, it's all all kind of works quite well. So the you'll only need one 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 April. crit hit chance uh, mod on your weapon, and then that means you could put the maximum crit damage in mods in your slots. So it saves you putting in a 6% where you could get 12%, so you get more value out your mod slot. Yeah, because when, you, when you're starting you off... you only get 5% crit damage on your gun. So, when, you, when you're starting off with, 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 when putting this build together, I mean, if you've got max stats here, and bearing in mind the crit hit chance cap is 60%, if you've got max on all these and all these gear pieces, you're looking at um, 56%. So you wouldn't want to put crit hit chance in the mod slots because you're going to get 60% and then two of them will be wasted. So what you want to do is you want to put crit hit damage on there. Pockets is always thinking way ahead. He is, he is thinking way ahead, Flick. So yeah, that's my problem. If you're at the cap of 60%, <laughs> you want to put crit hit damage in there because you're going to get at the max anyway and you'll be doing more damage when you actually crit. Um, but initially, you probably want to put crit hit chance in there because these won't be rolled as sixes, um, and it will give you that little bit of boost. Now, if you use a submachine gun, a submachine gun gives you crit hit chance on top of it and quite a big chunk if you can get a decent one. Um, so that takes into account for it. But this is going to be an AR. So onto the interesting bit, which I'm sure lots of people have got some ideas for weapons. Yeah, that's why it's always the best thing to do last because it's the the one that everybody's got many opinions on. So, assault rifle. Now, it's, it, it, it kind of falls into two basic categories. One, slow firing, hard hitting. Two, fast firing, slightly less damage. Um, and That's some the, the recoil pattern is rubbish. Yeah, but that one's really hard to get. 
there is there is and the other one's really hard to get there, there is the, oh, i presume hudson's talking about the carbine 7 which if you get in this yeah. particular format it, it's got no damage drop off over range i believe so it is the, the yeah. oh, god roll uh, but it's very hard to come by it's it's uh basically the uh um eagle bearer without the talent Hudson was saying earlier so bear in mind, the can, you've also the got the crowd. foul as well, Where's which is that one right that you now. mentioned, Stella, the, yeah. the slow firing, to put, um, is it killer on that, or, um, or one of the other ones? Even strained on a foul works. Which is the one where the longer time you're firing, the more damage you're doing. So that's strained. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that, that works really well. That's Thermos what I run with my AR build. Carbine yeah. 7, yeah. IP. But do you know the other one as well, which is probably a bit easier to Cita. find, is the ACR. Oh, the ACR is a nice pick. Yeah. Mm. It's a, it's your average Joe middle of the... It, it kind of... Yeah. Fires like, like a laser. Does reasonable damage. Has a, has a good fire rate. Um, Sounds nice but to you, I would go with uh, Hudson saying FAMAS at close range is just beastly. Cool. Also. Um, FF. Hudson makes a good point. If, we, if we've got the backpack and the chest piece on for close range <laughs> stuff, fast firing is probably going to be king. So it probably will yeah, be a FAMAS, like wouldn't it? Burst. You need burst damage. Yeah. So we've got the choice of two. Um, I don't think it really matters which one you have, does it? But the famous, so the famous has got. A, I don't think it actually tells you what the fire rate is on this, but it's got a ridiculously high fire rate um, on it. So attribute on it. Killer on the famous. Uh, so you've got health damage. Your attribute damage to targets. He's there. Thank you for the follow as well. Target out of yeah, cover. killer on the farmers. Yeah, definitely. So Hudson, Hudson, why would you go damage target out of cover? Hi, is this website for LVL forty only? Uh, no, Harry, you can you can put it in, and th these digits here, you can just type in what they Best are. In slot. I can kind of uh, you can just type in whatever you want. So this this basic. Yeah, but Hudson, why is it best in slot? It's highest damage numbers. The basis, the, <laughs> damage the basis of uh, of this will work for like level under level forties as well. You, it, the, the gear pieces and the talents are still the same as well. Most of the time, damage to targets out of cover. The targets you're trying to shoot are out of cover, so yeah. you want to put down as most as you possibly can because they're not they're not cowering behind something. If you think about the various different parts of dark hours, how many of those are actually hiding behind cover? They're not, not so. Hmm. So yeah, so when you're shooting a piece, it is best in slot. It is the, the best kind of damage numbers you get out, regardless if you're further away or, or closer. Um, but the very then good point is, eventually get foxes. They stack, so you get when you uh, when you get up and up, if you're further away, then you're more likely to duck into cover and then stay behind it a little bit. Whereas if you're up close and personal, um, which we're going to be in this build because the way we built the backpack and the chest piece, they're going to be out of cover, so you'll get the damage from that. <laughs> Talents. But Harry R. And it's a multiplicative talent lives, over an additive talent. And it's to target to target to target. So the multiplicative talents the uh, attributes are uh, damage to targets out of cover and damage to armor in that slot. That's the two best in slot. If you can't. If you've got a rifle that say you've got damage to armor but you really want to roll the, the talent on it. Yeah, roll the talent. It's still going to be a really good assault rifle, you know. You know, just just two percent better than eight uh, percent. Sorry, ten percent is better than eight percent. So that's two percent. So you know, you're obviously going to put that on, aren't you? Best in slot, like Hudson says. Yes, there are certain things that are best in slot. You always want to try and get them if you can. Is a super talent yes, for the yes, yes. The but, killer yeah. is best on FAMAS for me. And this is this is exactly Hudson. I think with the with the talent, this is kind of 
comes down a little bit to your but, um, play style. Uh, so bread basket, we don't want bread basket. No. So close and personal could be an option. So we're going to be within seven, mm. uh, 10 meters anyway um, to pop the armor Ooh. and the extra damage. So you, if you kill a target, you get 30% weapon damage for 10 seconds. But you've got to kill a target. Yeah. So there's stuff you've got to do to activate close and personal and there's other talents where you don't other than shoot you don't have to do anything um and we'll go through so because we're running high crit chance and um then critical we can use fast hands so critical hits add a stack of four percent reload speed bonus max stack is 40 so even with the famish you could probably get up quite high and have a super fast reload yeah uh, we've got killer so because we've got high crit hit chance and high crit hit damage, if you kill an enemy with a critical hit, you gain an extra 40% crit hit damage for 10 seconds. That can be that, that can be fucking awesome. That's you, devastating. You, you will definitely know the difference um, when, when, you, when you kill an enemy with a crit hit. Uh, measured no, on empty no, optimist. Um, it, you could use optimist, it's probably not the best one, uh, but weapon damage is increased by plus 3% for every 10% ammo missing from the magazine. So because the famous fires fast, you're going to get through that and that optimist will prop really, really quickly. But Bingo, Stella. The, yeah. la the last few bullets are going to be the ones that's doing the more damage. So you've got uh, an option because we haven't got a massive amount of armor and this bonus armor we're getting off of adrenaline rush will only last for so long. Um, you, you, I'm kind of thinking you want, you want to do that burst. The gear and could spend you get 10 bullets of insane and damage with Optimist. And and resources, but then Roughly. just focus on completing the missions, get SHD tech and stuff. Everything else is building up to it. Yeah. So you've also got Strained as well. Strained is another... So you've got 10% critical hit damage for every 0.5 of a second you're firing stacks up to five times. So you can get an extra 50% crit hit damage just by shooting, just by holding the shoot, shoot, the shoot button down. Um, but I don't know how fast the Famous actually unloads its all, all its ammo. So if it does it in less than five seconds... Don't worry yeah. about the deep dive stuff till that's level 40. That's why I 40. think that's better for slower firing. Yeah. Strange. At least you're going to be at the cap. Yeah, I, uh, longer. If your famous fires and it unloads all its bullets in three seconds, then um, you're not getting the full full benefit out of it. So, yeah, this, is, this is yeah, it's like value value for your talent. Strain perfect for seven hundred to eight hundred yeah, yeah, revolutions yeah, 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 per yeah, minute yeah. weapons. Yeah. So the one that I'd probably go with on this. Okay. However, this is all good to learn now, so when you hit level 40, you will have a solid Sorry, idea text what's going <laughs> on at Harry R. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So the one I'll probably go on this is with Killer. Um, because we're running a high crit hit chance, and we've already got a shit ton of crit hit damage, an extra 40% on top of that, and you can de so tell how fast you can kill stuff uh, when you've got that proc. So we'll go with Killer. So mods, now the mods is going to be dependent on what you've actually unlocked and this is the difficult bit. And it will also depend because you can use some of these to gain extra crit hit damage. You can gain some, use some of these to gain uh, extra crit hit chance. So it depends on where you are. Very much like the mods, depends on where you are with the crit hit chance here. Because again, if you stack loads of extra crit, like 20% extra crit hit chance, you're only going to get another four on top of it. Um, so it depends on what yeah, that so is. So we need one. Yeah. And the key thing to this is to get that at 60%. So, a site we can probably use for this. If you've got one, or if you've got one of these mods that gives you uh, extra crit hit chance, then go with that. Um, and then other stuff. So we can add extra crit hit chance if you want, um, but then you can kind of go with accuracy, stability. The only thing that you you probably want to try and unlock if you can. Damage. What was that one? Sorry. Hit damage. Yeah, I got no crit hit damage on this one. Oh, well, according to this. Well, if you've got crit hit damage available, I don't know if it's on this site or not, but there's no crit hit damage available on, on the laser pointer. Ah, uh, because not for... So okay, what, so well, what right. we can do what I would put in, is we I can put, put the crit, crit hit chance on that yeah, yeah, and yeah, then yeah, put, yeah, change yeah, that yeah, over yeah, to yeah. crit hit damage. Yeah, yeah. And then the magazine... 
<laughs> extra bullets. Extra bullets every Always day of the week. Extra bullets. Oh, wait. If you haven't got a plus 21, um, use the plus 10 one. But extra bullets every day of the week. Always. Um, and then the muzzle, because we're at 60%, and we will be at 60% because we're at 56. Um, we've got five from that, but it just hasn't shown it in there. So we've actually got 60% like there. Put the crit hit damage on. So that'll be a primary weapon if you're going to go for the, the, like, the weapon that you're looking for and the weapon you want to farm to go with this set. Secondary weapon. What's, what's people's thoughts on the secondary weapon? Vector. I like the Vector as well. It's I... just one, isn't there? There's, there's only all... Well, the MP5 ST so is actually a sleeper, and, and if you're if you like the slower death. firing, then the M1928 yes, with yes. um, Way more perfect, important. Uh, with outsider on it is just proper dirty. It turns into an assault rifle. So I think we'll look but, at this. Well, we've got up close. We're fighting two or three enemies. We've unloaded the famus, and we think, shit, there's still one of them left. Yeah. I'm trying to have so, a look off screen of what my uh, vector is because my vector is. What's what about Emily? I know it's a, probably a little bit harder to find, but yeah, Emily's guard. We we staying yeah, away from staying away, staying away from staying away from named. named. Yeah, okay, fair enough. <laughs> I think the SBR forty five ACP is the 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 one that drops more. Um, I know everybody says the nine mil is the the king. Well, I'll, I'll tell you why I go with the nine mil. I, I, I've got one which has got uh, which is got roller crit hit chance submachine gun damage and um, damage to targets out of cover and it fucking it kills like red bars on heroic in literally less than a second nice well that's what you want then use that so we go with that as a backup one you could use a different vector if you want to as well apart from there's one with a, with about fucking 12 bullets in it I think in there um, it's mm. <laughs> probably just stay away from that one um, attribute. So again, if you can get it, damage the targets out of cover for the same reasons yeah. as the famous. And then the talent. Uh, you would want, uh, this is when you would want, um, close and personal. So we'll look at close and personal. Yes, at Harry R. If you get all your talents and skills to synergize, then you'll hit higher numbers. So, the talent on this one, we could run with the um, killer again, um, but we'll run with close and personal on this one. So, killing the target 100%. within 7 meters grants an extra 30% weapon damage for 10 seconds. Because they're going to be there. Yep. The fast, fast reload. We will get a few kills. <laughs> Now we've just jumped in. Measured, uh, measured yeah, measure. measured. Measured. Have a look at measured. Got a suggestion. Top half of the magazine is twenty percent fire rate and thirty percent weapon dam. Thirty uh, percent less weapon damage. The bottom half of the oh, magazine. Oh, the burst. The burst rate. Yeah. So th that is an option as well. So you get less damage with that. Bearing in mind, you're probably only ever going to be using the vector when it's a oh shit moment. Something needs to die really, really fast, otherwise it's going to kill me. The extra fire rate and that kind of negates some of the uh, some of the, the damage loss. And even if you get into the second half of the magazine, because the vector is like a 1200 RPM uh, weapon, it will slow the fire rate down for the second half, and then you'll get 30 percent. So the first half of it is like die quickly. Shit, you haven't died. Now you're going to die because I'm firing slower and I'm hitting harder. The measured, measured is an option as well. Yeah. And, then, and then mod wise, um, now you, you, if you're using the vector and we've got all this built crit hit chance, you're not going to need. I mean, the vector gives you like twenty up, up to twenty one percent crit hit chance. So wherever possible, you want to be sticking um, crit hit damage on it again. And if you yeah. use Gunner, when you lose your armor, you get an instant reload, which also refreshes measured, if you get me. I do, yes. I do. See, it's, it's, it's little stuff like that that you learn from from playing the game and picking bits and bobs of pay. You can just very specific ways of, uh, of of chucking extra stuff in. Tweaky tweaks. Little tweaks. All the tweaky tweaks. Um, so we've got a choice here. We've got crit hit damage. 
uh, which we could be ten percent, but the magazine sizes aren't great on the submachine guns. So again, extra rounds. But you could put crit hit damage in there if you want. This is one of those things you can try out and see how you get on with it. Um, but if you get to a situation where you burst them with the famous, they don't die. You burst them with the uh, vector, and they don't die. And you think, fuck, four more bullets, and I would have killed them. That's where the extra rounds come in, um, quite handy. Um, and then you can just probably, you don't need crit hit chance, you just probably go with stability or accuracy. Um, probably stability, you're going to be close enough that accuracy is not going to man matter that much. Um, so I'll probably go with stability or something on that. And this is where um, the blah, 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 firewall specialization is handy because you get that 10% crit hit damage um, grip. That fits on the vector, fits on the famous. Yeah. Sidearm. For a golden rule, you, you can use it if you want. The sawn off shotgun, double barrel. Just, just don't. Although I've never had any joy with that. I mean, when it hits, it hits it really, really hard. I'm a auto but, kind of guy. Mm, yeah, so the, when we refer to burst, burst is the sort of rapid firing stuff. Rather than fire, let go, fire, let go, fire, let go. Fire. Rather than that burst, it's burst is just get as much damage out as fast as possible. So I, I, you know what? I think realistically, you're not going to be used. You, you could probably go with anything for the shot, uh, for, for the... Uh, I used that shot. I would go with a Deagle or a, a, a Magnum replica with grave digger I'm just having a look through mine in the background and see what was the one I used to I use think realistically if you know you're not you're never going to kind of switch to your, your side arm in a raid or anything like that because you either explode well, expend all your bullets taking or you on the weak swap. point yeah but then that requires said... a completely separate build then doesn't it mm. for doing that so you can go with a Deagle, which is doesn't drop very often. You don't see many of them. You can go with the Magnum, because they're the two hardest hitting pistols. But again, that doesn't drop very often. The one that I used to use, and I use this for for a long time because it does an absolute what well, uh, of the pistols is the M45A1. Yeah, that's my favourite. Um, and I'm just going to try and find it now on this list. Just to your right. Oh, there we go. Is that one because the one i've got i'm bearing in mind that the damage numbers um it is about half the amount of damage my, my liberty does 573 <coughs> k the m45a1 does 244 so it's about half but the magazine of liberty is eight whereas the magazine on my m45 is 18. so again attribute yeah. Damage to targets out of cover if you can get it. Um, if not, like Prior said, you're going to be using that little. Um, then it, it, you just want to hit stuff regardless of it. So um, they should be at very low health anyway. If you've got time um, that you need to get all your shots on with your pistol, you might as well get into cover and reload your main weapon. What will stick damage to targets out of cover on? Um, Talent-wise, um, now the one that I kind of like is it's not a damage one um you it's lucky shot as a talent. <coughs> mm. it could use finisher um so swapping from this weapon within 10 seconds of killing an enemy grants 30 percent critical hit chance and 30 percent critical hit damage so you kill something with that after you've missed uh, or after you haven't killed it with the two primaries shoot something with that then swap back and it gives you extra crit hit chance crit hit damage it's very, very situational, and some of these things are quite difficult when you have to juggle them all around and, and try and remember in the heat of battle. Excuse me. <coughs> um, what you need to do in a certain order. What I usually go I with... I have no problem grinding gear. You'll know that. <laughs> what about Max Min? Recalibration station. If so, <coughs> how do I do that? Well, we'll get onto the uh, recal station in a minute and give you a quick once-over with that. Um, the one that I usually go with, because if I'm down to my pistol and I've got and I'm in, and there's some cover nearby, if I just jump in that, 
and fire over. If even if I miss, if I hit fire, so I'm not putting myself out of cover. I'm just hit firing over it. Even if the bullet, fifty percent of the bullets don't hit, you get those bullets back. So basically, a hundred percent of the magazine will hit. MR turtle speed. And you also get an extra magazine capacity as well, which is good. So that's what I'd probably go with on that lucky shot because I think yes, you can use the other stuff, but it's very situational. You have to juggle stuff around um, to be able to to get it to prop. But the one that Hudson said the uh, the finisher is definitely a viable one. But I'll say try the talents out and see which one works for you and how often you feel like you're using it. Uh, mods again, you can probably just go with whatever you want on this. Bearing in mind, all your, all your weapons will probably have um, slightly different crit hit chance. So I mean, you can go with headshot damage if you want a little bit of raw extra damage from that. Um, pistol flashlight if you like FLG and like to be able to see in dark places. Um, headshot damage again extra bullets uh, and then crit hit damage so that should be kind of the overview of the build Briar, Smokey, anybody in chat any, any other improvements we can do on that no, mate, no, I think you've covered that off really, really well. I suppose specialist, specialist weapons is, is kind of like the next thing. and Yeah. Um, but, yeah, no, mate, well, I've, I've learned it. something there as well. So, GG. Mm -hmm. So, we'll get into the specialist, because the specialist can be quite um, key in in what you, what you do with this. <coughs> you smoke your coffee, or has he got a suggestion? <laughs> <laughs> What would you go with, Smokey, on this? Either gunner or sharpshooter. And why would you go with gunner or sharpshooter? Sharpshooter for stability, uh, or and gunner for the ten percent armor on kill. Because you're going to be up close. That is a lifesaver. Yep. And um, reload. Every third reload, reload speed. Yeah. And when you lose your armor. <laughs> You get Smoky, a free reload. Smoky. So you can go with Gunner. Um, so whenever you kill something. Bobby, I don't know. Really? And with this build, you should be killing stuff quite a lot. Um, you get 10% armor. And also your third reload. Bear in mind, we've got two really fast firing weapons. So you'll probably proc this quite a bit. Every third, uh, every third reload is 50% faster. And it's crazy fast. Or you can go with the sharpshooter. So you get extra stability as part of the sharpshooter. Um, and you get extra headshot damage as well. So again, as long as you're in your specialization and you make sure that your weapon damage that you get, the extra 15% goes on to um, assault rifles and SNGs, you can use pretty much either of them and just try them out and see which one works best for you. But they're probably the two best um, to go with. I would personally go with Gunner because I like the reload speed. Nothing worse than you out of bullets and you're standing there, you p noise in your hand. As the guy's just looking at you and you're trying to fumble around for get bullets back in the gun. Um, so I usually go with that one. That's what I go with. But you can use, you can use Sharpshooter if you want. Gunner is what I run with as well. <laughs> so, yeah. I, I run Gunner on quite a lot more. It's, uh, it's kind of good. It's a shame I can't actually put this build together to show what it actually looks like numbers-wise, but trust me, this will murder stuff. Harry R, you open up specializations once you have finished main missions and strongholds, Gunner. I think. Tactician. Needs. <laughs> That's all I use. And there we go. But if I'm doing my high crit hit damage, then I'll put on the firewall. <laughs> Stella, I've probably got a build that's very close to this, so we could jump into the shooting range and you could kind of show what the outputs are being. Yeah, yeah, cool. If you want to do that, Thanks. I'm cool I with that. Oh, I've got it as well. Uh, uh, so uh, I'm in the shooting range now, so if you want to join on money, we can run through that and, uh, and share it off in, in chat. It's a build that's very similar. What to make, make sure when you um, put all your targets to, to as close as possible so you proc as much as you of your the so the chart on this as well kind of shows you uh, a rough don't this isn't can you share this so i can try Agent build it backup. i can do i will, I will put, pop it in chat i'm going to make, start making a list of these as well so i'll build like a database of different uh, different builds 
Um, but you can kind of see the burst damage that you do, and the, the straight line is the reload time. Um, so you can see where it goes up to. Nice. It's the Fisher Price build, FLG. So with this build on normal, and bear in mind it is just normal, you can kill a red bar apparently in eight bullets and half a second. On a named boss, you can kill in three and a half, three point three seconds. This does kind of give you some stats um, where you are. If you're in four players, it obviously buffs. It used to, it used to be, didn't it, Smokey, that if you went wow. from like two to three and three to four, there was a, a, a not like two players used to be twice as difficult as one player. But then when you got to like three or four, I can't remember if it was this division or the, or the first one, but it didn't scale properly. And like the, I think yeah, four, four player was just fucking ridiculous. It had so much three health. was the sweet spot. It, it was unbelievable. It gives you all that for the weapons as well. I don't know how accurate these are, um, but it's kind of just a, a basis um, to see what yeah, you're going with. And you can put your critic chance in there. I they would like to interject that this build, because of its high crit chance, crit damage, um, which is what its main purpose is, your talents on your chest and backpack just put on whatever you want, whatever you can, you can try out different things, just so long as the gear set pieces are the same. Yeah. And, and the crit chance and crit damage are high. You will do real good damage in any, any content up to heroic. So the gear pieces, and Smoke makes a really good point, so the gear pieces are key and the bits that you have them on are key. These things you can kind of if you're lucky enough to get that, all those three rolled high, you can mess about with that as much as you want. But you might find you got that high, that low, that high, and a really weird talent, which is like a skill build talent on there. So you might have to roll that. But you can, it's it's a kind of a placeholder until you get um, another one. I just realised we missed the mods out as well, so I'll come back to them in a minute. Um, but as we were building this uh, crit hit chance mod, uh, crit hit chance, crit hit damage mod, we haven't actually put the crit hit uh, chance in the time to kill. So where that was 0.5 of a second before, you put 60% in, and now it's 0.2 of a second on, one, on, on normal. Or a named boss on normal in 28 bullets, or 1.8 seconds. An agent from your clan <laughs> has joined your team. So what, solo, if you can kill a named guy in 1.8 seconds, you're in a good situation. And the mods for the gear pieces as well. Now, this depends on where you are with your crit hit chance. So if you look, if you do all this and you've got 60% crit hit chance, then on each one of these, put crit hit damage. If you're not on um, 60%, so say you're only on 50%, then what you want to try and do is put as many of these in as you need to get up to 60%. If you get to like 59.4 or something like that, then don't put the third one in to get that 0.6. Put as the crit, uh, put the crit damage mod in instead so just try and get as close to 60% as you can without actually going over or just slightly over that makes sense so bear with me I'll just uh, hide that away I think we have some people here have we yep prior's knocking about somewhere so prior's got this build I think uh, so we'll We'll just run through and we're on heroic. We're on heroic difficulty for the shooting range. We will stand and watch the numbers there. So normal boss. You go dead instantly. Look at that DPS number. See, 1.15 million from a single bullet. Did you share it? No, I was making a brew. Not yet, not yet, I'll share it in a minute. Now, bearing in mind, Pariah will have 20% <laughs> extra damage from his um, watch. Yeah. And a little bit extra weapon damage from his watch. Um, so you realistically are looking at a number between 800 and 900 K. I'm going to switch it to purple. Oh, are you running? No, bear in mind as well. You... We're going to be close. Running... Yeah, I'm going to back off. No bonus armor there as well. 
Are you running um, future initiative? Oh, um, yeah, I'm, I'm outside the range. Yeah, because I was going to say I think you were buffing him. And this is more for visual, rather than the number, don't get caught up in the numbers too much. This is more visualization of how fast that, that thing goes back up again. Right, let's go gold. Yeah, it's, it, it's weird how you don't get bonus armor there. You used to. I want to do it so I can actually see the. Uh, let me just change my gear set so I don't buff you with the future initiative. Right, we'll go names. Right, hose him down, Pete. Oh, he's a bullet short. <laughs> Oh, bear in mind they all are headshots as well. Hit him in the chest, Derpy. So if you go for chest shots, that's where you can get them down to that and then burst them with the with the submachine gun. But that has no problem in killing stuff. That murder stuff quite well. What uh, SMG did you put on? Um, I had the Vector, I think it was. Nine mil, though. Yeah, I think uh, I think I've got one. My build's slightly different, but if you want an example of what the Vector fires like, oh, it sounds like he's got one. Now, this is Dark Winter, so this is the named one, but it's very similar. I mean, just hose this one to us. Sorry, mate, go on. So if you're ever out of... As long as you get your shots in with the AR, you can then just hose them down with this quite quickly. And I love the way it fires. The fire round is the favourite thing. When there was that... Um, that event where you killed something and it sped up the fire rate, it was a hoot. Oh, was a, Golden Bullet was... <laughs> it was an absolute hoot. It was like having a bloody warthog in my hands and just firing that, the AC-10. Is it? Not AC-10, the... It called... Want to help me A10. out? A-10. A-10, that's it. It was very, very good. That and the Bullet King was hilarious. Any questions in chat or anything else from P or uh, Smokey? Before I a ten warthog. That's the one. Uh, no, I mean just on this build, I'm running uh, glass cannon, and um, I, I, I'm. It's a really good talent to run, but Jesus Christ, do you fall down fast? So um, if you kind of want a little bit more survivability <laughs> and want to drop some some dps um then don't run glass cannon because you will be more survivable, but you're not going to put out as much damage. Which is which is absolutely yeah, fine as we're starting off. But remember, it, to avoid that on you. Yeah. Glass cannon is great because you look at it and go, yes, look at all the extra damage I can do. But bear in mind the amount of extra damage you take, and when you go down, your damage output is zero. So if your damage output is zero, you're not helping. So if you can stay alive just a little bit longer and keep the damage output over a prolonged period of time, and it's still going to be high numbers, you can do it. Glass cannon for me is more just of a skill don't build. Miss P, lol. Yeah. Glass cannon works on skill builds, so glass cannon works for skills yeah. and stuff like that as well. And when you use your skills, you're literally in cover, not popping up anyway. So um, it, it it's a lot more survivable with 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 a skill build. Right, so I'll put the link to this in chat as well. Uh, glass cannon all the way. <laughs> that's when you that's when you live life on the edge when you play glass cannon. Like Hudson says, that's when everything one shots you. Everything shoot, it kills you instantly. 
https colon slash slash mx swap dot github dot io slash mx dash division dash build slash hash slash uvgtm of jimes xmqlljsn 6qjw scap called jgjmw of an arva o uv what about skills stella have you gone on to skills yet oh i haven't Can't skills it, it doesn't capture the skills um that's a good point that is i missed a big chunk of it it doesn't capture skills onto this uh this website um that we've gone through but skills wise I would go decoy. Decoy purely because it buys you that little bit of time where they're focused on that, and because we're going to kill right, things super quick, group, you can then um, kill them before they even turn around and realize they're shooting at a decoy and revive hive. Those are the two that I would go with. Monkey P, any other suggestions? Half shield. Uh, half shield. Full lock shield and reviver. Or if you want to live dangerously, bulwark shield and decoy. <laughs> so you can you got a choice of shield you can use this one which is the big one because it just gives you it, it's not going to last forever believe me but it'll give you if you if the shit hits the fan you go right i'm out of bullets with everything i need to get away you just pop that and that'll probably buy you a little bit of time just to get away now what you can also run depending on how you want to uh go through it is the crusader shield the difference between the two is the first one you can only use your pistol um but the second one you can use it's a machine gun no crusader crusader comes with firewall oh this oh, is sorry, the which one which is the big one this isn't the crusader That's... one is it is it bulwark's big one crusader's the yeah. half shield and uh no Drica. let's uh, let's just yeah. confirm <laughs> get the name for it yeah, so the Bulwark's a big one. Crusader um, is the half one. The Deflector is the one you never want to use. Uh, and Striker is the Firewall Specialization one, which, yeah. again, gives you more damage uh, as, a, as an output. So you could run um, Firewall if a you wanted shield. to. Have a weaker shield, but anything within, what is it, like 5, 10 metres or something like that. You'll see a cone in front of you anyway. Anything that's inside of that, you do, you do a shit to more damage. And if there's more people in there, then you do more damage on top of that as well. That's kind of getting up yeah, to the, which, the, the next level. Yeah, it's kind of like that. If you were running that specialization, then you would run this build slightly differently. You would you would have your crit hit damage grip on your weapons. So that's an extra 10% right there. And then obviously that shield, you get a little bit of boost of damage from the target that's in front of you. Uh, but the downside is you don't get your armor on kill, you don't get your fast reload, and you, um, your shield is like a bit of soggy carpet. Thanks, guys. Yeah. So you, you can kind of mix and match. Bulwark shield, the big one. Crusader shield, the half one. Um, decoy and the revive hive. You can mix and match them however you want, um, and that will, uh, will kind of give you an idea. Uh, again, it's just like, oh. let's take it out there and try it. Some people prefer the bulwark, some people prefer, prefer the, the shield. I run on mine at the moment, Be which is... later, keep it sleazy. <laughs> Do that, Flick. Um, I run the, the revive hive just for the second life and um, the decoy as well. Does that work for everybody that's uh, clicked on that link in chat? I hope it does. I hope it's all in there. I don't think there's anything else that we've uh, we've missed. You can send this as well with the crit hit chance. Oh, let me put that on there. The way we've calculated it, because it's got all the max roll stuff, we're actually sixty. Where is it? Yeah, Sixty-seven of sixty percent crit hit chance on the AR. Um, on the submachine gun, we're eighty-three percent. So depending on what you run, you can swap some of the crit hit chance out for crit hit damage um, if you need to. Um, actual cr total crit hit damage with that would be. Yeah, I haven't verified the numbers on that are actually accurate based on it. I haven't gone through it step by step. So I'm kind of just using it as a very base um, for like idea, but don't yeah, rely on built on my other character. You're still in the firing range. Uh, yes, I'm going to go back down. 
But yeah, that, bu that build is kind of like an overview. It's more around the gear sets, the gear sets that you want to try and link together. Bear in mind, it's kind of aimed at um, newer people. The gear sets that you choose and how they all link together in with the adrenaline rush and the intimidate is probably key Agent as well. And I suppose, as a, as a quick pickup as well, if you wanted to stay further back and you didn't want to get up close to them, um, instead of using an adrenaline rush, um, you can use Bloodsucker. So killing an enemy adds and refreshes a stack of 10% bonus armor for 10 seconds. So you can get 100% bonus armor off that. Um, and then you can leave that Intimidate uh, on that, because I think that's... Make sure I've got my skills right. So yeah, you kill something, you get bonus armor. Prox Intimidate gives you extra weapon damage. Easy to kill stuff. You kill more stuff, gives you more damage, gives you more armor. So depending on how, how far you want to be away, you, you got a few options with the actual um, backpack um, chest piece. Oh, backpack talent as well. Cool. Everybody happy with that in chat? You all good? Happy. Has that helped? Can you build a gun or gear to get these, or is it only drops? Um. So with the drops, um, the easiest way to try and get one is when you're farming one is go into the map, look for targeted loot, look for the weapon that you want, and just go and farm that area. You can build them if you've got the crafting blueprint, um, but all that does is just eat your resources up. Um, you're much better off just going and and, uh, and farming it. And the gear the gear drops at higher levels as well, so you might have to do this in stages. But the better the best loot apparently drops on legendary um, but you can only get the loot if you kill stuff and it might be too difficult so kind of scale the difficulty in line with where you think you are with the challenge of getting better better gear 